So investing done right is simple, but it's extremely hard to do over long periods of time because we have irrational pessimism and irrational optimism. So why be rationally optimistic? Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. We have to have faith. So this is from my experience of working with investors for decades. This is what I have found with, from investors. Optimists make for better long-term investors. Successful investors have an optimistic long-term view that doesn't go away, even during a downturn. Optimists are more likely to stay disciplined. They tend to have an enduring faith in people, business, and capital markets, providing innovation and solutions to the world's problems. So we're just beginning to solve the world's problems. I have ultimate faith in mankind to solve any problem that comes our way. We've been able to do it in the past, we'll be able to do it in the future. Check this out. Quantum computers, we're just getting started. talk about quantum computing, it's a completely different game. Quantum computing will enable us to solve problems that currently take longer than the lifetime of the universe in seconds, hours, or days. We completely reconceive the space in which we do computation. Quantum computing is like going from crawling to going to a different planet. It's different. It's only natural that we would want to use the world's most powerful device to combat the world's most challenging problems. We could attack global warming. Security. What are the boundaries of machine learning? Fighting diseases. The possibilities of quantum computers are endless. Microsoft has the best and the brightest working on this problem really happening. Progress is very fast. And we're building a quantum computer. What the world wants to know is what happens when we turn the machine on. What problems will be solvable with a computer that computes in a billion parallel universes at the same time? Sounds crazy, doesn't it? But it's coming. Remember back in the 80s and 90s, we had the floppy disks and the DOS prompt and the dial-up modems and the, the computer could barely do anything. Now we got in the palm of our hand in your smartphone, you got more computing power than any of those old computers. And wirelessly, wirelessly, this is going to happen.